So in this problem, we need to determine the force in each cable needed to support this 500 pound weight right here. So we're going to add up all of our forces and set that equal to zero. So we have force CA, this one right here, plus force CB, plus force CD, plus the weight vector, can't forget that one, all equals zero. So what it comes down to in this problem is assembling each one of these force vectors, putting it in Cartesian form, I, J, K format. And for these three forces right here, we're going to have to start with the position vector in each of their directions and walk through the steps and convert each one of those position vectors into the force vector. So just make sure you're sharp on that skill. I have a video that builds you up from ground zero on that concept. So I'll go through it a little quicker. So I'll start with force CA. I need to make a position vector going from C to A because that'll be the direction of the force of this rope on this particle C here. And I can find a vector going from C to A by taking the coordinates of A, vector A, and subtracting off that the coordinates of C, vector C. So it looks like the coordinates of A will be positive 2 in the x, it won't be anything in the y, and it looks like it's sitting in the xy plane, so that's 0 in the z as well. And for c, looks like that's going to be 0 in the x, so we're going to have this distance positive 6 in the y, and c is also in the xy plane, so that is an elevation of zero, a z of zero. Alright, so to perform this vector subtraction, I can just subtract each of these components. So now I want to divide each component of this RCA vector by the length of RCA. So I need to find the magnitude. And that's just Pythagorean theorem. 2 squared is 4 plus 6 squared is 36, so radical 40. So now I'm going to divide each component as well as our magnitude by radical 40. And that's going to take our unit vector and it's going to shrink it down to a vector of length 1, the unit vector in the CA direction. Just remember, this is all all about taking a scalar, multiplying slash dividing it into a vector. That's the essential skill here. So here's my unit vector. Now I'm going to multiply this unit vector by another number. And this number will be the magnitude of the force of cable CA. And I don't know the magnitude of this force, but that's okay. It's just going to be an unknown. And this will extend that purple unit vector into the full force vector, FCA, in Cartesian vector form. So now I have assembled my force vector for FCA. I have to do the same exact process for force CB and force CD. So same exact steps here just for those other two position vectors and forces. And I'll go through the steps a little bit faster. So for the force in cable CB, I've got to start up by making a position vector going from C to B. And now let's just think final minus initial. Our final is the coordinates of B minus our initial the coordinates of C. B just looks like to be 2 in the negative x direction, so negative 2 i hat, 0 in the y direction, and it's on that xy plane, so 0 in the z direction. 
and here are the coordinates of C from before. So if I do that subtraction, components of B minus components of C, I'll get this, these components. Of course, I'll calculate the length, the magnitude of the vector from C to B. This Pythagorean theorem there. So 4 plus 36 it'll be a radical 40. So now I'll do scalar dividing into a vector. Divide each one of these by that radical 40. And I'll get this unit vector. And I'll take the force in this cable, which is an unknown number, and multiply this into this unit vector. And here is our force vector. So same exact process for our last for force vector from C to D. So I'll just do the math and I'll show you it and just pause the video and make sure it's making sense. All right. So I have all my force vectors except for the weight well, it's really, really easy to put that weight in Cartesian form. It's only going downwards. So it's just going to be 500 in the negative k direction, the negative z direction. So that's 0 in the i direction, 0 in the j direction, and a minus 500 in the k direction. So I just have to add up all of these force vectors by adding up their components and just set each one equal to zero. So here are the sum forces x, y, and z equations. So we have three equations. We have three unknowns, fca, fcb, and fcd. To solve these, I'll just throw them in a matrix. But of course, you can solve them by hand if you want to. And we'll get 197.6 pounds for FCA, 197.6 pounds for FCB, and 625 pounds for FCD. So really, it's just you know one concept repeated three times for this problem. Hope it made sense. Feel free to ask any questions you may have in the comments.